And welcome back to the live morning show presented as always by Don Bullock Chevrolet. Good crazy morning in here today. Just spinning the chairs all around here. Um, I am pleased and honored to have uh, Pastor Philip Barton from Dorches Baptist Church with me for this segment. Pastor, thank you so much for taking time from your schedule to be with us. Um, thank, you, thank you for coming on. It's an honor to be here. I'm glad to have you. We are going to be talking, um, I thought we were out of the whole hurricane forecast. Looks like we got a, another one to worry about, but um, you are spearheading, uh, again, a, a relief effort. Um, uh, here due to the, the remnants of Hurricane Florence. Uh, just kind of, if you wouldn't mind, just kind of give us a brief introduction to what it is uh, that you're doing. Okay. Well, it all began with, uh, the hur with Hurricane Matthew mm -hmm. when that hit. Uh, a church in, in Raleigh, Wakeminster Baptist Church, gave us a donation and said, uh, find a, a way to utilize this. So I began investigating. You, you can't sit in a boardroom and, and decide what people need. You have to get out there and meet the people. That is true. So Ron Green with Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. he took me down to the Red Cross Relief Shelter. Uh, Milton Bullock in, it mm -hmm. took me in Princeville to the uh, FEMA building and I got to, to speak to representatives there. And I uh, also visited with uh, hotels and, and met residents sure. who were displaced. Sure. Through that conversation, one lady told me that all of her stuff was in storage she had put her mattress in storage because the water hadn't reached the level of the mattress and then found out weeks later that it was sitting in storage uh, growing mold because even though she thought it was okay, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I talked to, to an insurance agent and he said, sure enough, whenever there's moisture in a home, the microbial growth in a mattress is, is outrageous, I'm so they sure. recommend get it, getting rid of it. A mattress is not something you can go down and get used because of health reasons. It has to be purchased new. Right. So that's a big ticket item that has to be right. purchased new uh, for, for health reasons. So we began researching how can we provide quality mattresses that, that we would want to stand behind mm -hmm. and provide them in an affordable way. Well, through uh, you know, Scott Lewis down at Southern Mattress, he mm -hmm. was able to work out a deal with us to where we get the best price possible and we started receiving more donations and uh, even received grant money. Over the course of two years, we were able to distribute 64 mattresses to the residents wow. in, in Princeville and wow. surrounding area in, in Tarboro. So now we've got another hurricane, Hurricane Florence. It's a little bit further away, away from us mm -hmm. and uh, a little, little bit more widespread. So uh, we've been trying to figure out how can we mm -hmm. do what we did before, but, right. but even, even larger. And, exactly. Uh, I was there for all 64 mattresses, meeting the people, shaking hands. Wow. I can't, I can't go two, two and a half hours away right. and be there for hundreds of mattresses. Right, right, right. So that, that's forced us to partner. So I'm developing relationships through the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship of North Carolina. I've connected with partnering churches in the cities that, that were affected. Uh, I was sitting there in my office saying, what I need is a warehouse. I need to be able to <laughs> ship them in bulk to a warehouse so that churches can then help me distribute from that distribution sure, point. Sure. While I'm thinking about this and praying about it, I'm sitting in my office. The phone call uh, you know, comes in and it's a pastor in, in Whiteville, Ryan Clore with, uh, with First Baptist Church in Whiteville. He, he calls me up and says, hey, you know, I've, I've got a, a church member with a warehouse, and w would you be interested in using this for your ministry? Oh, wow. I, I said, absolutely. Uh, you, can you hold 25? Yeah, yeah. We, we can house 25. Wow. What about 100? Could you hold 100 mattresses? Man. I'll check and get back with you. Yeah. Sure enough. I got the phone call uh, a little later that day. We can house a uh, hundred mattresses. Amazing. So That's we've awesome. got we've got the infrastructure in place. We've got our plan for for distribution, and it's That's just amazing cool. yeah, how this is going. You, you mentioned as uh, 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 awesome. You, you mentioned uh, st starting this effort with Matthew, and now obviously Florence, and hopefully not going to get a ton from from this next one, but. Uh, as you, as you look through that transitional process from Matthew to Florence, what were some of the things that, you know, obviously teaming up, bringing other people on board, what were some of the things that you learned from that first experience that you were able to bring into what you're, the, the effort now, whether it was, you know, tweaking something here and there. Anytime you go through something one time, you're like, okay, maybe we could have done that a little different, a little bit better. What, what were some of those adjustments or some of the things that you learned that have made this second go around even better? Right. Um, well, it's it really has gone smoothly from the beginning, and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I, I give glory to God for that. Things mm -hmm. fell into place. Uh, Southern Mattress has just made it so easy. They're they're, they're a good family run run business. Right. Uh, it began with them giving us a good price. Later on, as yeah. I was having needs distributing mattresses, they said, "Hey, would you like to borrow our truck?" So I started wow. utilizing their their truck, and now we cool. so we we talked to them and made arrangements. 
they're even willing to help us ship those mattresses within a two, two and a half hour radius that is awesome. uh, to the different towns that we need. Right. Now, of course, we have other volunteers with vehicles that are, that are willing to step up uh, right. to do that as well. So I guess the biggest lesson learned is that I don't have to do things all by myself. Well, okay. It's all about partnering okay. and, yeah. and getting yeah. other people uh, on board. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate what you're doing. As a matter of fact, it's interesting that I get the, the, the privilege and the honor of, of doing this interview with you today. I just got back from uh, the coast, spent the weekend uh, doing hurricane cleanup uh, down in uh, Moorhead City and, and, and that area. And had, and I'm going to go back to something that you said and ask my next question to you. Um, the first project that we and some of the members of our church went to, we mucked out a house and took a long time. We had about 40 of us in there, and it was just an unbelievable experience. And then the, the lady that owned the house came back right there at the end, and we were able to kind of embrace her and hug her and listen to her story and cry with her a little bit. You mentioned that, uh, that connection and being able to meet some great people and uh, what, what is that like for you and, and what blessing have you uh, seen and been able to actually offer to some of these people? What, what does that mean to you with, with this great thing that God has put on your heart? Absolutely. Uh, that is the only part that saddens me is that by partnering, I won't be there for every mattress that's delivered sure. because I have been in the past. Sure. And it, you, to, to see the, the level of appreciation and, and meet great people uh, who are just trying to put their lives back together and to be able to assist yeah. in that process. Uh, whenever you engage in any kind of mission work like that where you're serving serving your neighbor, uh, you're going to be transformed and blessed through that yeah, experience. Absolutely. So absolutely, I, I've been blessed through, through this experience. And, and with each one, I've been able to, to share a little bit of our, our reasoning behind what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we're, we're a church, so uh, you know, Christ is, is our motivation. Uh, the, the, the purpose of the church is to, to love God and, and love our neighbors. And this is our way of expressing our love for our neighbor and in doing so, you know, showing our love for God. Um, Mark chapter 4 tells the story of when the disciples were in the midst of a storm. Mm -hmm. And they were very fearful in, in that, that situation. That's right. And they went and they, they looked for Jesus. And do you know where they found him? They found him asleep. And scripture even says asleep on a cushion. Mm -hmm. So we looked at that oh, verse and we said, you wow, know, okay. Jesus was asleep on a cushion. Yeah. We want to be able to provide that cushion for those who are going through this storm. Really because cool. Because they deserve a good night's sleep. They deserve to be able to find that peace and rest in the really midst of cool. the storm. That's awesome. And, and to add a biblical reference and verse to this effort, probably I, I would say means a lot. Because, well, let's be honest. It shows that it's, it's, you, you've put a lot of thought into this. And, and, and as you mentioned, that would probably give a, a people some much needed peace and comfort as, as you can relate it to the scripture and, and they can feel the spirit of what you're doing. That, that is really, really cool. Uh, talk a little bit about the relationships that have been forged to this process. I mean, you're probably meeting people, uh, experiencing things that you, you wouldn't have. You hate to see anything like this happen. It's terrible, the storms of life, but in the storms of life, Pastor, come opportunity for growth and service and blessing. What has that been like for you as you have reached out in this ministry and met some probably really incredible people? Yes, it's been, it's been very touching. I remember one household in particular I went in and there was a threat of another storm. This was about a year after, after mm -hmm. Matthew had happened. And when I walked in to unload the mattress and help uh, put it in, in, into the person's bedroom, I saw their suitcases were already packed. Mm. They had heard uh, the, the news of a storm coming and so they were already prepared just in case. Wow. Now luckily that, that hurricane did not come our, our way. Right. Uh, but, but to see uh, to see how they, how they were on edge, having gone through that experience, you know, it just really touched my heart. Sure. And and that's that that fear and anxiety. So that's what we're trying to to provide is is you know, peace and and to relieve that that anxiety through this ministry. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that there's many people that are watching the show today that are that are certainly uh, touched by this effort. My guest, uh, Pastor Philip Barton from Dorches Baptist Church here. Uh, do you have ways that people at this point can still maybe get on board in this? I mean, are there opportunities? Uh, maybe someone's watching. I see you got a website here on the screen. Um, is there things that can be done by the volunteers or the general public if they want to help your effort? Absolutely. Uh, of course, the first thing we need is prayer. So pray that, that things can t continue to fall into place and pray for mm -hmm. us as we do this. If you visit our website, dorchesbc.org slash REST, uh, that'll take you straight to the information about Rest in the Lord. There is a way that you can contribute down at the bottom. You can sponsor oh, a mattress. Okay. Uh, you can also make donations in, in $25 increments 
uh, towards uh, this project. So that's one, uh, another way you can get involved is, is by donating. If someone has a, a resource that would be would be useful, you, you can find ways to contact us on that w right. website. Right. Uh, if, if you would like to, to volunteer to help us you know, transport mattresses, mm -hmm. if you've got a large mm -hmm. truck, uh, then uh, you, you know, send me a message and yeah. contact us. We'll figure out a, a way to get you involved. Is, is there any other con like directly to you? I see that web. Do you prefer that everybody uses that, or do you have an email or any other number at the church that people could reach out to as well that you'd like to offer to the audience, or do um, you want them to go I'll, through that I'll website? Share, they can find my email on that website, okay. but I'll be okay. glad to share that as well. If you want to reach out to me directly, uh, send it to Phil P H I L at dorchesbc.org. Okay, awesome. And uh, we, we certainly invite people to do that. Uh, very, very impressive effort here. Um, like you say, as you, you, you started with Matthew, bring it in to, to, to Hurricane Florence, because it, it's, Pastor, it's just an incredible name. I, I was blown away when I drove in pretty much all the way from Kinston to Moorhead City down, the, we, we went down 58, that, the, the, the back. I mean, from Kinston on, that whole hour drive, basically nothing but stuff all out in the streets i mean for an hour it's it's you know it's one of those things where you know tv really honestly doesn't do it justice just devastating what uh the these people have gone through but like you say where tragedy strikes there is opportunity for service and growth and, and christ-like love and we certainly really really respect what you're doing anything that you would like to to, to say in closing as 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 we wrap uh wrap the segment up well, as I was just listening to you, did you see mattresses stacked up on the side of the road? Sure did. Yeah, that was a, an image that, that got me as we drove through Princeville, was seeing all the mattresses stacked up. The need is definitely there. And there's a picture. And, and we're just trying to connect people with resources to, to get them uh, the resources they need because everybody deserves a good night's sleep. All right. So uh, walk us kind of through this picture right here. Um, obviously, you got what, about seven, eight mattresses on this trailer ready, ready to go. Um, um, where That's was right. this at? Uh, this was in Princeville. And, okay. And this was one of our, our first runs uh, when we were just figuring out what to do. This was before we started utilizing the box truck from Southern Mattress. Okay. Okay. And most of those that you see there are queen size mattresses. Yeah. Yeah. I can only imagine uh, the, the, you know, the relief and the look uh, that, that, that people have to receive uh, such, such wonderful blessings. And uh, Pastor, I'm, I'm just, like I say, humbled and uh, really appreciative of, of, of this effort uh, that, that you were making uh, uh, here uh, for the people that, that so needed. And uh, I'm sure you have felt um, great blessings uh, in, in your life for this effort. So thank you so much for being with us. Uh, really, and, and I will offer up uh, some prayers uh, from my family on, and, and anything we can do to help you, we'd, we'd love to do that as well. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, Pastor Philip Barton from Dorches Baptist Church has been my guest. You're watching the live morning show presented as always by Don Bullock Chevrolet. When we return, we get our final look at weather and update on the potential uh, storm coming our way and the uh, five-day forecast. We'll be right back after this. <music>